ex-Trump company executive Weisselberg sentenced to five months in jail. New York. A longtime executive at Donald Trump's company was sentenced to five months in jail on Wednesday after pleading guilty to lying under oath in the New York Attorney General's civil investigation into business practices at the Trump Organization. Alan Weisselberg, who worked for the Trump family for a half-century before retiring recently, was taken into custody after a brief proceeding in New York Supreme Court and is expected to serve his sentence at Rikers Island, the city's sprawling jail complex near LaGuardia Airport. It was not clear whether Weisselberg will be called as a witness at Trump's criminal trial scheduled to begin Monday in New York. Weisselberg, 76, now a Florida resident, pleaded guilty on March 4th to several counts of perjury for lying in sworn testimony both before and during the Trump Organization's civil fraud trial brought last year by New York Attorney General Letitia James. He has been embroiled in Trump's legal issues for years because he was a key figure at the former president's namesake company for decades. In 2023, Weisselberg served about three months of a five-month sentence related to a separate criminal tax fraud case involving the company. The Trump Organization was convicted at that trial and fined $1.6 million, the maximum allowed by law. Weisselberg pleaded guilty to more than a dozen felonies, including criminal tax fraud and grand larceny. In that trial, Weisselberg blamed himself and another executive, Jeffrey McConney, for orchestrating a 15-year tax evasion scheme that sought to compensate company executives, including Weisselberg, with unreported benefits such as free cars, apartments, and other paid personal expenses. Weisselberg, who held several titles at the Trump Organization and spent years as its chief financial officer, testified that Trump was not involved in those crimes. In the civil fraud trial brought by James, Weisselberg was a defendant and was ordered to pay $1 million as a penalty, representing the amount of severance he received from the company. New York Supreme Court Justice Arthur Engeron found that Weisselberg was a player in the persistent fraud and that his severance was an award for remaining loyal to Trump. Trump was fined more than $350 million, representing ill-gotten gains earned through deceptive practices in real estate deals. He owes another $100 million in pre-judgment interest, but he is appealing the judge's decision.